Hey everybody and welcome back to the channel. Well, it is officially Oscars night and I'm so excited. Currently the red carpet is underway and the ceremony kicks off in about an hour and this is the first time I'm ever doing a live reaction to any sort of thing. So it may be a little bit wonky, so I apologize for that. I have my TV that I'm watching the Oscars on directly to my left. So I may be looking up to the left as they're announcing the awards, but then I'll try to turn back and give my thoughts on who won. I heard that they're starting with Supporting Actress, so they're getting the craziest category out of the way first, so I'm super excited for this to kick off. I will have my personal predictions and who I personally want to win the Oscars in the lower half of the screen. I have updated some of my picks since I posted my predictions two weeks ago, but I'll have my updated ones in the lower half of the screen, and I'll make sure to update those images somehow. I'll probably put like a green check mark over the actual winners. So, I hope you guys are excited, and let's jump into the Oscars. So, the first war of the night is actually animated feature film, and I think Pinocchio is definitely going to take this home. But I also started my recording a little bit early here, because I just want to say that Jimmy uh, Kimmel's speech was actually really good at the beginning of the award show this year. I thought it really encapsulated everything that happened the past year in the cinema world. It didn't go too far out of boundaries, he didn't say anything too off the wall. I really enjoyed his Will Smith jokes that were obviously going to happen in this opening speech regardless, but he kept them short and everyone was laughing and it seemed like everyone had a good time with the speech and it's probably one of the better ones I've seen in the recent years. And Pinocchio wins the Oscar. Pretty easy to predict, one of the more predictable awards of the night, but I'm super happy for Guillermo del Toro. He definitely deserved it. This movie was beautiful and I honestly really enjoyed this movie. Definitely check it out on Netflix if you haven't yet. Up next is actor in a supporting role. Hopefully Key gets this. Kier Kwan won. I'm so happy for him. I mean, I think everyone was expecting this, but he fully deserved this award. He gave probably the best supporting performance of the entire year, in my opinion. And I am um, going to stop the recording now because I really want to watch his acceptance speech. This is really deserved. Kier Kwan probably just gave the best speech of the night. I was tearing up. I had actual tears streaming down my face. I am so happy that he won. And right after this, they're going right into actress in a supporting role. This is one of the craziest categories. It could honestly be Jamie Lee Curtis, Carrie Condon, or Angela Bassett. I'm really hoping Jamie Lee Curtis wins this, but I could honestly see Angela Bassett or Carrie Condon taking it home. I am predicting Carrie Condon to win the award, but let's see how this plays out. Oh my god, Jamie Lee Curtis just won. <laughs> oh my god. I'm so happy. Oh my god. I can't believe Jamie Lee Curtis just won. I was not expecting this at all. I am so happy she just won. This is amazing. Uh, holy crap. I was not expecting that at all. I really thought Angela Bassett and Carrie Condon were ahead of her. Apparently not. I think Everything Everywhere is set up to be an absolute sweeper tonight. Once again, I'm going to pause this recording because I really want to hear her speech. Documentary features just being presented. Navalny just won. Um, I think this category was a little bit more of a toss-up a little while ago, but it seemed like Navalny had the steam going into the Oscars, so this really isn't that big of a shock. I personally haven't seen any of the documentaries yet, so I don't have too much to comment on here, but congratulations to everyone that worked on Navalny. Live-action short films just about to be awarded. I haven't seen any of these either, so we'll see what happens. An Irish Goodbye just won. It definitely was between this and Late Papule. Once again, I haven't seen any of these, so no big comments, but congratulations to everyone who just won. <laughs> Achievement in Cinematography is up now. I really think All Quiet on the Western Front is taking this in a landslide, but I would absolutely love if Tar somehow won in a major upset. But let's see how this plays out. And All Quiet on the Western Front takes home the award for Cinematography. This was definitely one of the easier to predict. I think this movie was shot wonderfully, definitely well-deserved, and I really liked how this movie was made. Makeup and hairstyling is next on the docket for tonight. Holy crap, the whale actually just took home the Oscar for makeup and hairstyling. I was really expecting Elvis to take this home since it seemed to be a more liked movie by the Academy, but I'm super happy the whale took this. I think Brendan Fraser's transformation was fantastic. That like fat suit he wore was outstanding. I personally thought it was the best makeup I saw this year, but I was honestly not expecting this at all. I'm very pleasantly surprised. Congrats to everyone who worked on the whale. Costume design is up next. I really think Elvis will take this home, but I mean, it just lost makeup. Maybe it's not as strong as we thought it was going to be at the Oscars here. Could Black Panther everything everywhere upset here? 
I still don't really think so. I think this is Elvis's strongest category, in my opinion. But let's see how this plays out, because it could honestly go any which way. And Black Panther wins for costume design. Uh, so Elvis has lost two big categories that I was highly suspected to win in. Uh, especially after the whale just winning makeup. I'm starting to think possibly Brandon Frazier could win actor here. I was not expecting this series of events at all. I think this Oscars is going way off track when I kind of thought it was getting predictable towards the end. But I am always have to be kept on my toes and I'm excited for um, future awards that are to come in the coming hours to see what really takes place. Uh, this has been in a really exciting award show so far. International Feature Film is up next. I'm fully expecting All Quiet on the Western Front to win here. I find it hard for any other film to win, considering All Quiet has like eight or nine other nominations outside of this category. This is probably the biggest lock of the night. And All Quiet takes home the Oscar. I think this was very predictable. Um, All Quiet on the Western Front was a fantastic movie. It highly deserved this award, in my opinion. Um, definitely check it out on Netflix if you haven't yet. Best Documentary Short Films up next. This is the last category of the night where I've unfortunately haven't seen any of the nominees, but I'll still see uh, who wins here. I'm kind of expecting The Elephant Whispers to win, but I know Strangers at the Gate could possibly win. We'll see how it plays out. The Elephant Whispers does win the Oscar. Um, yeah, like I said before, I've unfortunately haven't been able to see it, but congratulations to everyone who worked on that film. I believe it's on Netflix. And right after that's Animated Short. I've seen a handful of these. I'm really hoping Ice Merchants wins. I watched that. It's free to watch on YouTube. Go check it out if you haven't seen it. It's a really touching animated short, and I'm really pulling for it to win here. I know it is a major underdog, though, to Apple TV's uh, The Boy, The Fox, The Mole, and The Horse. The Boy, The Mole, The Fox, and The Horse did win. It's one that I've unfortunately haven't had the chance to check out yet, as I don't have Apple TV. I've kind of heard mixed receptions about it. Um, I was really hoping for Ice Merchants to win, but, you know, can't win them all. Next for the night is production design. Fingers crossed for Babylon. I absolutely love Babylon. I wish we got more nominations here at the Oscars. I'm really confident it can take the win here, and I sure hope it does. And All Quiet wins production design. It seems like All Quiet is taking home a good amount of awards so far. This is its third Oscar. I think with this, it's probably going to take a score as well. Huh, I really hope Babylon can win score though, because I really just want Babylon to, Babylon to take home something because it really deserves it. Um, All Quiet was a really good looking movie, but it definitely would not have been my first or even second choice for this category. Well, right after that All Quiet win, we're jumping right into original score. I think Justin Hurwitz's score in Babylon was my absolute favorite, and I think it's the best score by far in this category. But after that production design letdown, after Babylon had all the precursors, I'm really um, I'm really worried All Quiet's going to take home this award as well. Um, fingers crossed for Babylon once again. I guess we're just going to see who wins this. And All Quiet on the Western Front wins score as well. This is All Quiet's fourth Oscar win of the night. I have a feeling that this is probably shaping up to take Best Adapted Screenplay as well. I really hope not. Oh, that'd be a major letdown for me. But I'm kind of nervous about Best Picture coming down to Everything Everywhere versus All Quiet with how much it is sweeping currently. This is actually kind of crazy and I don't like the direction where this is going. It's a great score, um, but definitely I wish Babylon won this. Up next is Achievement in Visual Effects. This is by far going to be Avatar. I think it's the last pure lock of the night. Um, I'd be surprised if anything else wins here, but All Quiet's been surprising, so let's hope it doesn't do that here. <laughs> and Avatar wins the Oscar. This was probably one of the other biggest locks of the night. Not surprised here. Well deserved. Avatar 2 is one of the most mind-blowing movies I've seen visually. Um, it really deserved this Oscar, just like the first one did. I'm very happy with this win here. Up next is original screenplay. Personally, Banshees is my favorite screenplay of the year, but I'm really hoping Everything Everywhere wins at this point because these all quiet wins are starting to rack up and it's making me a little bit nervous about the best picture race. So let's see how this one turns out. Yes, and the Daniels won everything, or won for Everything Everywhere all at once for best original screenplay. Highly deserved. I'm so glad they won this. This eases me a little bit about the best picture race. 
but we're gonna have to see how adapted screenplay turns out. I'm really pulling for Sarah Polly, but ooh, I'm still a little bit on edge about this best picture race and I need some more to calm my nerves. And now we have adapted screenplay, similar to what I just said um, before the Daniels accepted their award. I really hope Sarah Polly takes home this win. She deserves it. That is my favorite screenplay of the year, bar none. Um, if All Quiet wins this, I'm going to be super upset because that was not a writing movie at all. And I just don't want to give that movie any more juice going into the Best Picture Award uh, later tonight. But let's see who wins this. Yes, Sarah Polly wins for Women Talking. She deserved this. This is probably the happiest I've been all night. Uh, Kioi Kwan, Sarah Polly, and Everything Everywhere are like the things I were rooting for all night. This is fantastic. She deserved this. This movie is phenomenal. This is the best screenplay of the year. I am so happy this won. And I think this may have just confirmed that Everything Everywhere will be taking home the big award at the end of the night. And we're just going to have to keep our fingers crossed that Michelle Yeoh can win Best Actress. But for right now, I'm going to listen to Sarah Polly's speech because she deserved this hands down. Now we have Achievement in Sound. I'm really hoping Top Gun takes this home. It definitely deserves this award since it kind of got snubbed in the cinematography category for a nomination. Um, with how strong All Quiet has been tonight, I would not be surprised if that won. But I'm really hoping for Top Gun. That movie's phenomenal and it would not be as good as it is if that sound wasn't as good as it is. And Top Gun wins the Oscar. Really deserved. Uh, I re was really hoping Top Gun would take home at least one Oscar tonight. It was the best blockbuster of the year. It was the highest grossing movie of the year. And honestly, it's the movie that brought a bunch of people back to the movies. So to not honor it, that'd be kind of weird. So I'm really happy it won here. It definitely deserves this Oscar. Oh, and they're going right into original song now. I think RRR uh, is definitely going to win this. Natu Natu is an amazing song and it really deserves this. But let's see how it plays out. And Natu Natu wins best song. I'm so happy for them. RRR is a really fun movie, and they definitely deserve this. Their sole nomination, and they take it home. Natu Natu is just such a fun song. I'm so happy to see them win. We're down to the final five awards of the night. Next is editing. I really expect everything everywhere to take home this award. It had the most inventive and unique editing of the year, and it's pretty much won every single precursor, even the BAFTA, so I'd be really shocked if it didn't take home this Oscar, but let's see what happens. And Everything Everywhere wins the Oscar. Well deserved. Love the editing in this film. And this Oscar really, or this Oscars award show just really seems to be all quiet and everything everywhere, taking home the majority of the awards, which is very strange. But let's just keep this momentum going and hopefully Michelle Yeoh can win Best Actress. But Paul Rogers absolutely deserved this award. Fantastic editing. Way to go, Everything Everywhere. From editing, we're heading right in directing. I think the Daniels are taking this. Uh, everything Everywhere is winning everything it should have so far tonight, so I see no reason why they don't take home this award. Steven Spielberg has maybe like a tiny, tiny 1-3% to chance, but I think this will go to the Daniels. And the Daniels win Best Director. I don't know what to say. Highly deserved. My favorite film of the year. This is one of the most bonkers and imaginative films ever created. I know all you guys who are watching this probably have seen the movie and you know that as well. But I'm just so stoked for them to win. This movie is just rolling right into Best Picture. And I am really, really hoping that name is called uh, when the final award of the night is given. Uh, I'm just super happy. This is fantastic. We're down to the final three awards of the night. Actor in a leading role is up first. Um, I was really predicting Austin Butler coming into tonight, but Elvis hasn't won a single Oscar, and The Whale took home makeup. Um, so I'm honestly switching my prediction to Brendan Fraser right now. I think he is going to win this, but I still kind of call this a coin flip, so we're going to see what happens. Um, it'll be interesting to see. Brendan Fraser won. Oh my god. Elvis is going home empty-handed tonight, and Fraser wins Best Actor. This is, this is nuts. Fraser deserves this though. That performance was outstanding. I did not expect this to happen at all. Uh, this is shocking. So, I guess it's just gonna come down to Best Actress to see if the SAGs go four for four on who they gave the awards to. I think Michelle Yeoh has a pretty good chance, but right now I'm going to listen to Fraser's speech. He deserves this. The whale was phenomenal. I'm so happy about his comeback. This is a fantastic win.
Frazier just gave an outstanding speech. I still have tears in my eyes after it. I'm so grateful that he won. But now we're jumping right into Best Actress. I think all the momentum is on Michelle Yeoh's side. And I think this would be a wonderful sweep for everything if we're all at once. And it would be a wonderful win for Michelle Yeoh. I hope that happens. But if Kate Blanchett does win for some reason, it is very well deserved. She gives an outstanding performance. But let's see uh, whose name is on that card. And Michelle Yeoh wins. Oh my god. Everything everywhere wins at 6 or the night. And Michelle Yeoh wins. This is fantastic. She deserves this. The SAG went 4 for 4. So the SAG was the big predictor this year. I am so happy for this movie. Michelle Yeoh deserves this. Uh, I, this is just outstanding. I'm so happy with everything that's happened tonight so far. Um, I'm going to pause the video once again to go listen to Michelle Yeoh's speech, but everything, 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 everywhere all at once is sweeping and I am loving it. Well, it's official. Every single acting nominee or every single acting award winner has made me cry tonight. Amazing speeches across the board. Uh, they're going right into Best Picture. Harrison Ford is on the stage right now getting ready to present Best Picture. I think everything, everywhere all at once will win this and I'm going to be so happy but I'll come back after they announce the awards with some quick thoughts, and then definitely at the end of the video, I'm going to wrap up with my overall thoughts of the awards. Everything, everywhere, all at once, just one best picture. This is amazing. This is only the second time since Parasite, where my favorite movie of the year won best picture. They deserved it. This movie's phenomenal. Uh, this is amazing. I'm definitely going to pause the recording, watch their acceptance speech, watch the finale, or the final moments of the Oscars, and I'm going to come back and wrap everything up but this has been an amazing 95th Oscars. Well, that was a fantastic Oscar ceremony. Everything took home everything. I think it won seven Oscars in total. I'm so happy for it. It was my best, uh, my favorite film of the year. Uh, it took home three acting awards. I think it's the first movie in Oscars history to win three acting awards and best picture, but don't quote me on that. Um, All Quiet took home a surprising amount of awards. Elvis, The Fablemans, Tar, and Banshees all went home empty-handed, which is very strange. Uh, Babylon didn't win any awards, which kind of upset me. But all of the big awards that I was cheering for, Kia Kwan, Michelle Yeoh, Jamie Lee Curtis, The Daniels, Everything Ever All At Once, Sarah Polly, they all won. So I'm super happy personally with this award show. Everything that I was really rooting for happened. Um, but yeah, there's a few movies that I do think I wish won awards because they were fantastic films and really defined this year. This was definitely one of the best years for movies in a long time. Uh, this was my favorite Best Pictures lineup I've seen since I've been following the Oscars for about 10 years. But this was overall a really great 95th Academy Awards. Please let me know what your thoughts are on the uh, ceremony in the comments below. Um, who are some people you wish won? What are your thoughts on who won? Uh, and while you're down there, please drop a like and subscribe to the channel. It all goes a long way in helping me out. And sorry if this new live reaction format was a bit clunky. It's my first time doing it, but I had a really fun time doing it. And I will see you guys all in my next video. Have a good one, everybody.